What's happening guys? Uh, glass day. Before we get into it real quick, um, I'm actually going to be on like a podcast live thing with Lou Santiago. So if you guys are car guys, you know who he is. Anyways, he's got this uh, YouTube channel. It's Garage Insider TV and he's got a, it's like a podcast, webcast, I don't know what you want to call it there. Uh, we'll be on camera and it's called Three, Three Lefts Don't Make It Right. And it's, I'm hoping I schedule this video properly. So it'll be tonight. Hopefully it's when you're watching this. It's Wednesday, May 12th, and I think it's on either 7 or 8 o'clock. I don't know, the Central Pacific times are kind of screwed. Anyways, I'll try and put a link in the description or, or something like that. But make sure you do me a favor and check it out tonight, because uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm losing a good guy. Anyways, uh, so we'll get right down to it. So I just, I got to work a little bit early. Jimbo's on his way over. Slapped the glass in. Now, I know where I left it on the, on the last uh, video. I was going to jack it up and, and fix some small little transmission leak. We're off the rails. So I got the cover off the transmission. It's uh, an oil leak and it's puking oil out of the back. Now, it's hard to tell and stuff like that. I'm hoping the oil pan was a little loose. I did a lot of screwing around and welding and hammering and beating on this oil pan. And it looks like that's where it's kind of seeping out. So I went and bought uh, an oil pan gasket, some brake clean and some silicone. So I'm hoping once we get the glass done, we'll rip this thing up. I think I can drop the, uh, the center link and get the oil pan off of this thing, clean it all up, make sure it's flat, put a new gasket in it, put it back up, and hopefully that'll fix the leak. If not, I mean, it's like a rear main or something ugly, which promoter's got to come out, basically. To, I mean, you can fight with it and all that, but it's not worth it. I'll, I'll just pull the motor, which is lame. So either way, tonight's going to suck because I'm going to be lying on my back in oil, putting a oil pan on a car while it's in the car well you guys know that sucks anyways i'm gonna clean up a little bit jim's on his way we'll have a little bit of a wind at least i'll have a brand new windshield in this thing today i did get a new rubber if we need it i'm hoping not because this one looks good and he seems to think it's easier just for keeping the old rubbers and yeah go from there so stay tuned It'll be a good one all right so we got the fearless team from jim's auto glass here now everyone who emailed me and called me and stuff like that this is, there you go. Pause the video right here. Jim's Auto Glass. Give him a call if you're local. Don't email me. So they're working hard. We're gonna set the lapse camera up. We'll pop in and out a few times, I'm sure. So these tri fives, I'm smart enough to know I don't wanna do this one because I did my 55 and that's the second windshield because I broke the first one. Me and Mer spent two days in the garage changing two windows. And this one's like the expert level because it has chrome in it. Or trim so he's got to knock the trim off the bottom trim on the inside which has to come out so they're earning their money today so here's the struggle we were having so this thing all kind of sandwiches together and step one is you have to get this little trim piece off because there's a screw in there to get that out then you can pull the side moldings out because this corner piece has a screw right there which is covered once you get that off then you can start peeling this out then the glass can come out. I remembered that. Of course, everything's rusty, so we'll see how that one goes. Because this car was, uh, there, there's no trim on it because it's a base model 150. At least I made it look like a 150. It's actually, uh, this was a Bel Air car. So it doesn't have any of that stuff. I think I welded in all the little stuff. And you can see where all the clips are going to be in the front there to hold the trim on and stuff. So, but, making progress. Who would have thought? Sitting for 60 years, that's a pain to take out. So the bottom trim is coming out somewhat easy ish <laughs> so this is what we're now showing you right here that's a little screw that holds the front of this trim piece in 
And on the bottom, it runs on a little clip in the front, which we were struggling on. And there's a little nut that holds it in back there. And then it fits under the, uh, the corner piece. So once you start getting it off, it all just kind of comes off in order. We're letting that soak. So far, we're, we're not breaking a whole lot yet. So if this one screw comes out, I think we should be doing okay. Well, I'm not, again, I'm not doing much, but oh, they're looking good. I do want to spray these. And these are the little clips that uh, everything runs on, which again, on the 55, so handy having multiple cars to show you these things. I just either ground them off or unscrewed them, but you can see those are the, the holes that were left. And I could have sworn I had a, I don't know. But yeah, get back at it. Uh, so she fought us a little bit that with the corner trim pieces, but we got her out. The windshield came out okay. Pinch molds are not bad. The the corners here, a eh, little a little ungood, but we're gonna get all vacuumed up, clean it up. Get all the junk in here, and then uh, see what we got. I guess give her a little grind. Hopefully we can uh, put the one right back in. Okay, so Jim hit it with the grinder real quick there. He's gonna give it a little bit of uh, primer. So definitely down here, we, it's it's soft. I mean, it was kind of doubled up, but it's, it's missed a little bit, it'll be okay. Um, so prime it, then I guess there's some sort of like a rope glue thing that goes in there. Uh, I made the call to reuse the original, if the gasket came off, I did. I bought one, which I'm gonna return, or you know, keep it for future tri fives. And the reason is, uh, that one fit so nice on the corners. It, it's got the kind of memory and stuff like that. The new new gaskets can be a nightmare to fit. And I hate how the 55 has fit because I put that glass in. The curve just isn't quite as you know sharp. And a lot of guys I've, I've seen on the internet, they're not happy like I can put the whole finger in there. So we're gonna reuse the old gasket, new glass, clean up the trim. It's gonna look fine. The original gas had one little crack in it, but it's no big deal. So yeah, we're gonna primed up and roped in. So she go back together. The upper chrome just fits in the rubber itself. There's a little slit in it, so it kind of pops in. And then the glass, so I guess, will get fit in, and then the bottom chrome goes on. At least that's what I think happens. <laughs> they didn't tell me otherwise. So it should be good. The uh, everything's all primed up. It's got this little rope stuff in here, so we'll give it a good seal. Yeah. Stay tuned for the struggle. All right, so moment of truth. The rubber's on the new glass, trim is in, 
and there's a rope in the rubber on the glass or in the glass so we're gonna set it on the bottom lip and I guess add a little bit of pressure and kind of do a little pulling and scooting at the same time as the rope goes and it'll uh, wrap itself around the pinch bolt. Hmm? Get it sinkered. No. No? No, not bad. Okay. We're catching up on there. Yeah. Here, here. just lift up with it. So this is the part that's worth every penny. Cause me and Murr trying to get these corners in and that smacking right there. Holy moly. <laughs> Hitting it like it owes him money. Yeah, I, I don't have the courage for that. Holy moly. Glass is tough. It's real tough till it's not tough. <laughs> But he's getting her in. The bottom corners are, are mostly in. He's kind of working her way around. Then we're home free. So it's in. It was just, I mean, I don't know, five minutes maybe it took him to kind of rope it in, give it a few, few courtesy uh, smacks here and there. But here's the big reason I wanted to use this, this rubber. See how tight it fits in there versus the 55? And I just think it'll look much nicer. You're only going to see that much of the rubber anyways. A little bit of trim on there and uh, we're back in business. A new windshield just changes the car dramatically. Right now. All right, well, a little bit of trim. They'll be on their way. There we have it. Jim's taken off. Love those guys. So I had him leave the uh, the trim around the wiper arms uh, off because I got to pull those out and grease them all up because they are seized. And same with the trim on the inside because I got to get in there and do what I want with the headliner, clean it all up, fix a little bit of rust and stuff like that, paint it, and put that back there. So I left it as it is. But look at that. Brand new window always makes such a freaking difference. I'm excited. So. That's what we're doing for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and have something to eat. I'll probably be back out later and we'll start to 
rip the oil pan off this thing, I guess. That's not going to be a good time, but uh, hopefully that's all it is. I can fix it and put it back together. If not, it's going to be a big, ugly job, which I'm not looking forward to. But, uh, yeah, that's hot rods. See you guys in a bit. What's going on, guys? So where I left it, well, it's been a couple of days, I think. We got the glass in. We had a monster oil leak. I was going to fix it or look at it, and I didn't. I didn't do a damn thing. Uh, I got lazy and angry and all those things. T typical, right? Typical hot rod. But, uh, so now the car's up in the air again. Sorry, my freaking life. Been moving all sorts of other cars around, shuffling stuff around. Um, oh, the old man knee crack is real. Uh, real. So I got it up, I got the inspection plate off, I hosed it down some brake clean. Um, it was leaking even just under crank with, uh, oh, with no spark. So I'm gonna let that kind of dry off a little bit while I clean up. I'm gonna get Danny out here, see if we can crank this thing over with no coil and just let her go against the starter and see in just the you know, first few seconds where I can, if I can see where the oil is coming from. I'm hoping oil pan, because that is, you know, I can change that in the car. Not that it's gonna be nice, but it's possible. I got a new pan gasket and stuff, or, I mean, if it's a rear main, motor's coming out, right? Because uh, wrestling with all that in the car is gonna be, a, I think, a bit of a nightmare. And uh, the other thing is, I mean, it might be is, maybe one of like the, uh, the oil galley plug or something on the back of the block. I'm a, I mean, I didn't check a lot of those things. It was a running, driving car. And honestly, it ran and drove, you know, I haven't put a lot of miles on it, but it's run for minutes at a time and hasn't started dumping oil like it just did out of the blue, which is new. So, I don't know. The only thing I touched was the oil pan, which then I had on and off and screwing around and messing with the oil pan. So I'm hoping that's the problem. And I just had a little blunder and I can, you know, I had another gasket, it's like $9 and a tube of silicone and I can put it back together and eliminate the leak. Something a little deeper, that'll be, that'll be tough to take. Motor's coming out and that's a whole, you know, few days or a week behind schedule, which I didn't want to do. But, <laughs> what are you going to do? It's a nice day out, I can't complain. I'm going to let that dry off, get Danny out here, clean up a little and we'll, uh, we'll have some answers, hopefully. Hopefully we have some answers and hopefully I'm not pulling the motor. Well, I think it's the oil pan. Uh, I had Danny kind of crank it over. I was looking in there. It's hard to tell, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to pull the pan off. We'll see if it's completely gibbled. Well, the motor will come out or whatever it may be, but uh, oil pan's pretty easy. I think I just got to drop the steering. I should be able to zip it out. Unfortunately, it's really gross and oily under there because it's been leaking. It's my life, but uh, I'll get that off, and then I'm hoping you may see the imprint in the... Uh, of the gasket and silicone all let's see if it was uh secure and once the oil pan all that's up we can get a little light up there and if it's got oil above the oil pan well it's gotta be coming from the top down right <sighs> well fast forward in time the wheels are all mangled we've got the suspension or the steering dropped we've got the oil pan off i gotta say so i mean the seal was still in it, it looked fine. Uh, I mean, you could see where it had gooshed out the silicone and, and fit around it. Uh, there was oil on the pan, kind of underneath some of the silicone, so it does pop off pretty easy, which I mean, really, I don't know. I'm hoping it just went right through there. I guess I should have that in there. Everything else is fine, uh, you know, I peeled the gasket off and stuff. The, the front actually came off stuck to the pan still. So, I mean, that's, that's good. I definitely was hoping I would see the gasket ripped kind of right out of it or, or something very, very obvious. I mean, I don't know. I guess it, it just doesn't look like there's a giant oil leak. I tried getting up in there, especially with the light in between the uh, ring gear and stuff. I mean, it's not coated in oil up in there. So, I mean, at this point, I'm going to gamble the whatever $10 gasket kit, suffer away for another uh, hour, put it in, goosh it full of silicone in the back, and then uh, let's sit for a little bit, hopefully fire it up, hopefully solve that oil leak. And if not, I mean, motor's coming out, which is lame. So we're gonna try and end this video on a win. We got a new piece of glass. We're gonna fix the oil leak. We're gonna think positive and uh, pull the motor out. It was just for fun. All right, well, I'll let you guys know when this thing's back in. I'm sure somebody was yelling. I'm in this bar. I pulled the main cap out. I'm gonna change the rear seal. Unfortunately, the, the bearings aren't quite as nice as I would have hoped, but uh, 
there's not a whole lot of options because the motor's not coming out, not coming apart. And so the seal actually didn't even look that bad, which I was again hoping it would, but it doesn't. But uh, we'll we'll knock this seal in out. I hate doing them in the car. I've only done it once before, and it's an absolute nightmare. But whatever. We'll slide her in. Uh, and then we'll, we'll seal this thing back up, put it all back together, and hopefully it won't leak, because if it does, I'm burning it to the ground. Wow, you're running. Get under here. No fresh leaks. Huh. And we got, uh, what's this say? 65 or so pounds, 180 degrees. We're doing just fine. So, shut this off. <sighs> okay. Well, not gonna lie, it was a stressful, uh, stressful day. But it's fixed for now, anyways. The transmission still is leaking because that right there, that <laughs> the initial leak I was trying to fix, is still there. Well, we fixed the leak I didn't know I had. So I can put the bell housing cover back on, put the steering back together, drop this thing down, be done with it for a little bit. Uh, what an absolute gong show. But glass is in, oil leak we didn't know is fixed, and hopefully the column will be here next week or so. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Uh, again, I'm trying to time this, so it'll be out the Wednesday. So tonight, right after this, uh, well, this video, sometime this afternoon, uh, check me out, Garage Insider TV, with my buddy Lou. I'm so stoked to go uh, talk to that guy for, uh, I think it's an hour. So make sure you go there, do me a favor, make me look like a you know big tough guy in front of that guy. I think what I'll also do, I might, I might not, is I set the lapse camera up. I haven't looked at any of the footage yet. The whole lapse of all the uh, glass going in. So I'll probably sneak a few little bits here and there during the video I've already watched. Maybe I'll put the whole thing on the, on the end. So I think it was like... 10 or 12 or 15 minutes in fast motion so i'll really crank speed up maybe a few minutes anyways thanks so much for watching as always uh, appreciate every last one of you and i will see you on the next video Le leave a comment leave a comment and grand insider tv don't forget